Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zena Wakamlagalaga and I am back with another video. So today I am going to share how to look expensive even if you're broke. <laughs> So if you're in passing and you're wondering what this channel is about, I do all things fashion. I show you where I get my trendy fashion items at affordable prices. I also show you where I get my luxury homeware at affordable prices. So if that sounds like a cup of tea, please don't forget to like, comment and also subscribe. Also, please don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Without no further ado, let us go. My very first tip, ladies, is Hair. I love 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 wigs so I love keeping my wigs neat clean tidy and also fresh at the same time I know that you have passed like an expensive looking lady or rich lady passing next to you and the weave smells fresh it's neat it's tidy it's flowy it is everything like literally you can smell it and it smells clean it looks clean it is fresh it's serving basically so I love sticking to my black colors brown when it comes to hair my blonde colors anything that is natural by natural i mean that hair colors that people are born with basically so yeah i love sticking to those colors because personally i've never seen a lady that is rich and looks expensive at the same time with blue hair pink hair purple hair so yeah personally i love sticking to my black browns and blonde also ladies if you're also a lover of wigs i personally think that you should stick to two to three hair so that it looks natural as possible i don't understand it when people have four to five um bundles of hair on their hair because to me automatically it looks like it's too much you're trying too hard it is not it and also it doesn't look natural i'm not saying that when you have two to three hair it looks natural obviously people know that it is not your hair but at least it looks natural it looks like it is your own hair and that's what we're trying to achieve here so yeah remember this less is more when it comes to hair also if you're a lady that loves afro braids that's also beautiful and it also looks expensive just try to stick to normal colors the natural colors which is your blacks your browns and also try to keep the hair clean tidy neat have a nice clean style as well fresh so that also looks nice and classy and expensive at the same time. So yeah, if you enjoy that, do that. My next point is manicure. So I love sticking to the neutral colors when it comes to manicure, your nude, your soft brown, your white, your baby yellow, your baby pink. Most rich women like sticking to your short nail with childish nail polish, but I love long nails which have neutral colors. So I don't think that is a problem for as long as they look neat, clean, with neutral colors and they are tidy at the same time they are clean i think that's personally fine the thing that i find that is not attractive is when your nail polish chips please ladies that is the most unattractive thing so if you're a person that loves nail polish make sure it does not chip personally that's why i don't like jalish nail polish jalish nail polish chips off easily for me so that's why i do not prefer jalish nail polish that's why i would rather go with acrylic because i know that it lasts much longer than jalish nail polish if you prefer jalish nail polish or nail polish make sure that it does not chip i think it just looks dirty when nail polish chips it does not look attractive so yeah ladies if you are a person that enjoys jellish nail polish or nail polish make sure that you maintain it at all times so that it does not chip because automatically it looks dirty or it looks like you don't care for your nails so yeah please maintain it and make it look clean at all times my next tip ladies is clothing and when it comes to clothing if you want to look rich and expensive stick to your neutral colors your black your brown your nude your cream your white any color that screams class any color that looks like it gets dirty easily those are the colors to stick to and also stick to your silk material polyester cotton satin especially silk silk automatically looks like it is an expensive material it's rich vibe it's expensive vibe so if you stick to those kind of material automatically for me you look like you are expensive you look exquisite you look like it's class basically so yeah stick to those kind of material also make sure that you iron your clothing at all times i can't emphasize this more make sure that you iron your clothes or steam your clothes at all times 
automatically for me if you're wearing an expensive item and it is not ironed or steamed it looks like a cheap outfit so i think it is very important for you to steam your outfit even if you're wearing like a cheap outfit if you steam it or iron it automatically for me it looks like an expensive outfit so make sure that your outfits are steamed and ironed at all times i'm not sure if you guys have um like visited like the laundry you'd always see like rich people there and people like rich people are usually there because they know that their clothes must be steamed and ironed to the guards at all times because automatically that screams expensive exclusiveness classiness so yeah if you want that look make sure that you steam and iron your clothes at all times also ladies wear the right size your clothes must look like they were tailored or designed for you at all times so if you're getting a pants and it doesn't fit you properly it is important for you to take it to a tailor so that they can make it to look like it was designed for your body so i don't get it when people say that wear bigger clothes in order for you to look expensive for me automatically that does not look like you look expensive if anything it looks like you look cheap it looks like you've borrowed this from someone like honestly for me that that does not scream expensiveness i have personally never seen a person who's trying to look rich and expensive with baggy clothes if anything it's probably like a silk shirt but you know that silk shirt are not meant to be tight on your body so that is the normal fit of the clothing please try to stay away from baggy clothing clothes don't look like they were designed for that give away cheapness basically no uh -uh. The next tip I have is makeup. So we're trying to achieve a look that looks rich and expensive at the same time. So make sure that you're going for your natural look. Make sure that it is well blended. It is smooth. It is seamless. It looks natural. And also don't go for the drag queen vibe because remember here, less is more. So we're trying to go for a natural look. Also women that look expensive and rich, they usually go for a red lip color or neutral lip color or lip gloss so don't overdo it when it comes to the lips also make sure that your makeup is natural it is seamless it is smooth if you don't know how to achieve this there are so many videos on youtube where you can learn how to do this so yeah my next tip guys is jewelry and accessories your necklace your earrings your rings your bag your sunglasses those things can take your outfit from zero to a hundred in no time take for instance a person who's wearing a white outfit and it looks simple immediately when they have a watch necklace earrings and a bag sun immediately in no time that outfit elevates it looks classy it looks expensive in no time so really i think it is worth it to invest in good jewelry or accessories i know it can be expensive to invest in jewelry and accessories but if you look at it in this way quality over quantity because in any case you're going to go to these stores like five six times on a yearly basis to buy these accessories where you could just save your money up and get good jewelry for quality the quantity that you'll be getting at these stores so i decided on getting this necklace from soroski so i take a shower and i do anything with this necklace on so i can take out this diamond heart over here i also got myself these earrings from them it can be expensive but it's a good investment when it comes to jewelry it's something that i know that it won't go out anytime soon so that's why i decided to invest in these also if you are in cape town and you're wondering where you can get like good jewelry because i remember when i was in uni i got it at this other store it lasted me for three to four years i think yeah it lasted me for three to four years and it was about six to seven hundred rand that was my necklace earrings i think they were about 300 400 somewhere there so yeah at least they lasted me a long time i didn't have to go to stores to buy these things until this year finally i decided on investing in good jewelry so yeah make sure that you get yourself jewelry and accessories because these items can take your outfit from zero to a hundred in no time so yeah get yourself these my next tip guys is perfume so it is important for you to smile the way you look have you ever met like or have you ever been with friends where they like can you see that person they look like they smell good can you imagine that can you imagine 
looking like you smell good at a distance ah uh -uh, that's too much for me like i want that i live for that so when it comes to my perfume i've invested in my dior perfume tom ford and also my gucci perfume but if you don't want to invest there are people that are selling perfumes these perfumes or replica of these perfumes at an affordable price but i don't think it stays for that long so you must always keep it in your bag so that if it evaporates off of your body you can just apply it on your body again so yeah you can also go for that also i used to use zara perfume and the body shop perfume before i decided on investing in perfume but with the zara and the body shop perfume you've got to keep it inside your bags so that when it evaporates you apply it on again also guys if you know that you've got body odor problems i think it is important for you to carry your roll on your wipes your perfume your bubble gums inside your bag if you're a girl i'm already assuming that at all times you have your wipes you have your perfume you've got your bubble gum you've got your sweet so that at all times you smell fresh you smell clean you're keeping clean we want to look expensive and we want to give off that so yeah keep these things in your bag so that you're fresh and you're clean at all times next tip guys is confidence confidence have you ever seen like an expensive woman rich woman walking inside a room they look like they are confident they posture the body language it gives off like you already know that this person they know their story they know what they are about like you can see the posture the way they're giving off also guys remember confident women speak with certainty they don't mention words like i think i'm not sure they speak with certainty because they know what they want at all times also guys remember confident women don't pass judgment they don't speak down on other people in order for them to feel good about themselves they are certain they know who they are they find happiness within so they don't need to do that also confident women listen more than they speak they understand that when they're listening they learn more there are people that just talk too much and they are not even aware and i mean if you're talking too much over the other person what are you trying to prove so yeah learn and listen more also confident women don't seek attention sometimes you find customers at restaurants that are trying to find attention the waiter is doing everything that they can they're being served but they're just looking for attention they're just causing drama for nothing so really expensive women and women that are rich do not do that they don't seek attention for no reason like guys table manners please table manners don't look for attention where attention is not needed so your yeah, expensive and rich women don't seek attention for no reason confident people aren't afraid to be wrong because they know that there is something to be learned there and i mean if you were right all the time what are you learning so yeah learn something guys learn be open to learning be open to hearing other people's opinion you can't always be right at all times you can be wrong and listen to other people remember guys confident and rich people ask for help when needed so yeah when you need help ask for it it does not make sense when you know someone who can help you with something and you're just sitting in your corner or you're just having pride it just brings you down you're not learning anything from that so yeah try to keep away from pride and from things that won't make you grow make sure that if you need something and you know who can help you look it up on youtube if you can google if you can or if you know someone personally ask them I'm sure that they will give you the information so yeah my last point guys is rich and confident people celebrate each other at all times they say congratulations to others when they win because they understand that they've got nothing to lose it's not like when the other person is winning they are losing something if anything they are also winning on their side or it is also encouraging them so when other people win celebrate them congratulate them there's nothing wrong with that so yeah thank you very much for tuning in guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and also subscribe also please don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of future uploads until next time it is peace from me bye